Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering collector box unboxing with a single set booster as well. Uh, this is the brand new, most recent set, the Streets of New Capenna, which is just a really cool set, both in terms of the cards in it, as well as its general overall aesthetic. It's all 1920s looking and very, very cool. Uh, you'll notice a lot of themes like that as we open the cards, but uh, we're just gonna get right into this. So uh, what, what do we start? Oh right, we always have the art card. So here we go. Uh, who is this fellow? Benny Brax, the zoologist. Yes, of course. And what else do we have in this set booster? The forest, the shattered seraph. Okay, cool. So of course they've got these like art deco style angels all over the place. <laughs> Crooked custodian. Uh-huh, nothing to see here. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, cutthroat contender. Uh, girder goons. Knockout blow. Yes, a lot of fisticuffs in this set. Uh, patch up. And mage's attendant. And here we've got a showcase obscura charm. So the streets of New Capenna. This set is kind of like... If you think way back, the uh, the Alara block, it's uh, all in these tri-color, well, used to call them shards. Now, I don't know if there's a specific name for these groups, but Obscura is one of them. And Perry the Pulverizer, oh good, we've got a mythic rare and everything, and this is actually one of the commander mythic rares. Very nice. Urabrask Heretic Praetor, okay, uh, another mythic rare, the Phyrexian Praetor that is on New Capenna for reasons. Sure, this is a double mythic pack, and a Foil Broker's Veteran. Uh, and a Purr's Whim, just random um, list card thrown in there. This was a ludicrous set booster. Two mythics and an extra rare tacked onto the end. Okay, I mean, that's... that's real good. We're off to a great start. Uh, hopefully it only gets better from here. Uh, I would hate for that to be the highlight of the entire episode, although I doubt it will be, because collector boosters are, as always, quite loaded with good stuff. Now, I don't know every card in this set, but I have followed the spoilers a little bit, so I sort of have an idea what to look for. Uh, Gala Greeters. Oh, I... Hang on. Oh, here we go. I didn't know that this would be in here. Okay, shows how much I know. Uh, Gala Greeters is sort of a box topper. I guess this is a box, so makes sense. Uh, but what's cool about this card is that they actually made a different version of the artwork for every region that they sell these in. So, like, the German one has different artwork. The French one has different artwork. It's really cool what they did. Uh, it would be a bit of a task to collect them all, but I'm sure people are going to try. Now, let's take out these boosters. Throw the box on the ground. And here we go. What sort of goodies await? There are a number of cards that I actually want. Uh, of course, because if there weren't, I wouldn't have bought one of these boxes. They are expensive. Uh, but, cross our fingers and try to get the darn things open. Okay. Yes, they definitely do not have costume gloves in mind when designing this packaging. Uh, dear Wizards of the Coast, in the future, please keep in mind that I personally wear stupid gloves while opening these, so uh, do try to keep that in mind while designing packaging. Anyway, Sticky Fingers is our first foil common. And For the Family is another one. And Gilded Pinions. Oh, when it enters, create a treasure token. Equip creature has flying. Oh, it's an equipment. Cool, cool. And a Boon of Safety, there we are. And our first uncommon is Cormella, the Glamour Thief. As always, well, not always, but as you would expect in a set like this, there's a lot of multicolor legendary creatures that you can build commander decks around. Uh, yeah, this one is all about instants and sorceries. Kinda nifty, fairy vandal. And again, as they have been doing in 
a lot of recent sets, very cool basic lands. Here we have a full art plains, it appears to be a train station. A plane station? Ha! So, um, yeah. Anyway, these boxes tend to contain at least one of every basic land, so looking forward to that. Racer's Ring, yeah, so this is the set of common uh, bad comes into play tapped dual lands for this set. And I'm gonna try to collect them all. Oh hey look, it's another Cornella Glamour Thief, very cool. This is the showcase version because every card needs to have five different kinds of artwork. Botanical Plaza, there we go, another one of the lands. I guess this is the version I'll try to collect because it's really cool. And here we've got a Foil Rare Agnes, the Dragon's Lash. Uh, whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token. Sure, why not? Uh, oh, I'm running out of room for my piles off to the side. Uh, In Too Deep is the Commander uh, Full Art Extended Art card. Professional Face Breaker. <laughs> okay. Uh, another good one. Actually, this is a really good one, isn't it? Uh, whenever creatures control combat damage, create a treasure token. Sacrifice a treasure, exile the top card of your library, you can play it this turn. Yeah, this is a real good card, actually. And this, well, this is a uh, full, uh, not full art, a showcase. Zeatora the Incinerator, one of the demon leaders of the shards, the organizations of this plane. Okay, this is, uh, this is probably a good one. And this is an etched foil. Errant street artist, okay, they've brought etched foils back, it would seem. Oh, and of course, the, uh, the adorable little devil token. Wearing guns for high heels. Uh, to go with this wizard token on the other side. Okay, oh, these are cool tokens, actually. I feel like that's maybe not one of the common tokens that you open. Ah, this pack opened much better. Oh, copy token at the back. So what is this? Make disappear. There we go. Well, I'm gonna have to go through these a bit faster, social climber. Otherwise, we'll be here all day, psionic snoop. Carboretti Courtyard. So these are sort of like fetch lands. It's a whole cycle of them. Uh, Citizen's Crowbar at Uncommon. Sizzling Soloist, the trombone player. Love it. And here we've got a mountain, and a very impressive mountain it is. And a Shattered Seraph. Nice. Showcase art. And Nimble Larcenist. And, ah, here we go. I was wondering if we'd see any of these. This is a Gilded Foil. Uh, let's see if I can get the light to hit it nicely. You will note the entire border around it is all shiny and golden. Looks a lot more impressive uh, outside of the video. I don't know, maybe if I hold it far enough away, you can kind of get a better idea of what the... Yeah, there we go. Check that out. Just beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. What pile do I put this in? I don't know. There's so many different kinds of cards. Uh, Shakedown Heavy is a foil rare. And Flawless Forgery is our um, commander card. Corpse Explosion is another extended art card. Maestros Diabolist is our, well, another showcase card. And what is this? Mm, yes, 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 yes indeed. This is the uh, extended art foil professional face breaker. Okay, that is great. Happy about this. This is definitely going to see use in many decks of mine. And uh, this is a treasure token. Okay, so far so good. We're not doing too bad. Now, if I can only open this as easily as I opened the previous one. Yeah, we got there. We got there in the end, I think. Mm, there we are. Difficult. Difficult to get those cards out. Uh, demons do. Scry two, draw two, lose two life. Okay, well, that's an instant, actually. That's not awful. Uh, Glittermonger, there we go. Tap, create a treasure token. Huh. Yeah, lots of treasure tokens in this set. Broker's Initiate. An Obscura Initiate. Venom Connoisseur. Oh, into the uncommons. And Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. <laughs> nice. Okay, we've got a forest. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous forest. Love these full art cards. Tramway Station. And Cabaretti Charm. 
And this is, no, this is just a foil. This is not an, uh, uh, not an etched foil, gilded foil, just a foil. Again, so many different versions of these cards. And Raffine's Tower, here we go. This, these are more cards that I'm actually looking for, although I want the fancier versions than this. Uh, this is a whole set of lands that have three basic land types, and they cycle. Uh, like the Triomes from back in Ikoria. And what is this? Rose Room Treasurer is our commander card. Shakedown Heavy, we've seen this one already, I think. Maestro's Ascendancy and Cemetery Tampering is our uh, extended art rare. And the fish! Fish token! Ah, oh, great. Lovely. Okay. Moving right along. Let's open up this pack. See what we got. We got a rogue token, I see. Uh, if I can get the cards out of here. They don't want to cooperate today. I don't know. Okay, civil servant, what do you got, huh? Fake your own death. Good. Uh, revelation of power. Broker's hideout. We've got Disciplined Duelist, and Psychic Pickpocket. Okay, I imagine being psychic would come in handy in that line of work. Uh, this is a Swamp. Very nice, very fancy. A Waterfront District. And Maestro's Charm, getting a lot of these charms. Masked Bandit, okay, okay. What is this? Undercover Operative, Foil Rare. Spellbinding Soprano is our commander card. Black Market Tycoon, an interesting mana dork who creates treasure tokens but damages you if you keep them. Ah, Raffine's Tower, but this is the borderless cool version. Not foil though, not foil, so close. Oh, and speaking of Raffine. Uh, speaking of Raffine, this is a... Gilded Foil Mythic Rare Rafine the Scheming Seer. Whenever you attack, target attacking creature connives X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. An interesting ability to have in these colors, but, uh... Oh, this is... I feel like this is somewhat of a pull. If I were to hazard a guess... Mmm, look at that shine! Uh, I've got to be careful with this one. Yeah, that, uh... That's something, all right. Cat token with haste. Actually, I'm gonna need that, I think. There is there is a deck that I'm considering that uses those cat tokens. In fact, there's a dog token too. Wonder if I'll open one. Okay. Well, this uh, this half of the box looking pretty darn fine. Echo Inspector, Botanical Plaza, Reckon Crew. That is a NES game. Cabaretti Initiate. Slip out the back. Okay. And Pyre Sledge Arsonist. What is this? This is a Plains. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Metropolis Plains. Very nice. Rackish Revelers. Showcase card. Mr. Orfeo the Boulder. This actually seems like a fun card to build around. Not gonna lie. And Cormella the Glamour Thief at foil. Nice, nice. Seeing a lot of her today. Uh, what is this? This is the Soul of Emancipation. Foil rare. Dogged Detective is our commander card. Gala Greeters. Oh, hey, more of them. And what is this? Jetmere's Garden. Hey, we're actually seeing a lot of these lands. And Tenuous Truce is the uh, commander. Oh, it's a commander foil. Interesting. I didn't know that these came in foil. Wow. Well. Very nice. Ogre Warrior as a token as well. Huh. Okay, you know what? I've got to know. What does this do? Because this might be pretty rare if my uh, my complete guesswork is accurate. At the beginning of Enchanting Opponent's End Step, you and that player each draw a card. When you attack Enchanted Opponent or Planeswalker, they control when they attack you. Uh, sacrifice. Oh, okay. So it's like a, it's a truce card, of course. Huh. Interesting. I like that. I might actually use that in a deck. I kind of have at least one deck that wouldn't mind having that. So, wizard token, what do we got here? Hey, this is the first, the end of the first half. Gathering Throng. Antagonize. Rackish Revelers. 
High Rise Sawjack. Okay, Rumor Gatherer. And take to the streets. We've got an island. Haven't seen any islands yet. This is the first one. Very pretty. Uh, masked Bandits, again. Crew Captain. And gotta have the Gilded Foil Masked Bandits. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, tenacious Underdog. Oh, this is actually a cool one. You can, uh, yeah, you can blitz it from your graveyard. Huh, cool. And what is this? Swindler's Scheme. And Meeting of the Five. Oh, this is a mythic with a lot of color involved. Okay, Zeatora's Envoy at Rare. And Extraction Specialist is our extended art rare. And a treasure token. Okay, we've got time. We can keep going. Let's see if I can get through this entire box before I need to reset my camera, which will not happen if I keep struggling with these packs. Oh, there's the dog token. We got them both. Excellent. Now all I need is the commander to go with them. Uh, as a gilded foil, of course. So, sewer crocodile. And, uh, disdainful stroke. Civic gardener. We've got a deal gone bad. And into the uncommons, brass knuckles. Nice. And crew captain, we've got the other swamp. Cool. And what is this? A botanical plaza. Glamorous outlaw. Maestro's charm. A maestro's diabolist. A boxing ring. Oh, this is a cool one. This is definitely a cool one. And reservoir kraken. We've got a... Oh, okay, this is a fancy version of a mythic rare titan of industry. Borderless. It does a lot of stuff. And Zeatorha's envoy as a foil. Okay, and a treasure token to go with the dog. The dog is probably the more interesting token. Okay, so I opened that pack from the bottom and it actually was pretty easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, they must make these the same way they make Pokemon packs. They're easier to open that way. Uh, Angel token. Quite pretty. Okay, Ominous Parcel is our first common. Uh, Skybridge Towers, there we go. Join the Maestros. Big score! Oh, I need this. This is a good common. Um, yeah, just draw two. Uh, yeah, you have to discard a card, you draw two, create two treasure tokens. Nothing wrong with that. Obscure charm. Uh, uncommon, by the way. And ballroom... Ballroom Brawlers. That's a tricky one to say. Forest. There we go. Corpse Appraiser. Important job. Spara's Adjudicators. Spara's Adjudicators. Uh, cut your losses. And Prosperous Partnership. Uh, fight Rigging. <laughs> okay, that's a fun picture. Oh, uh, yeah, what is this? Obscura Ascendancy. Okay, okay. And what do we have here? A Park Heights Pegasus as our extended art card. And another fish! Nice. Very nice. Uh, what do we got? We got four packs left? Sure, no problem. No problem, I say. So... What do we have here? Case the Joint. Yep, Daring Escape. Uh, Halo Scarab, Security Bypass. We have Tavern Swindler, an interesting reprint. Makes sense though, Public Enemy. We got another mountain. Another cool art style mountain. Uh, Discipline Duelist, Brazen Upstart, Cabaretti Charm. Even the score. Oh, this is a mythic. This is a foil mythic. Ah, very cool. Just draw X cards. All right. Uh, Grand Crescendo, and Getaway Car, yeah, they've got cars now, Tenacious Underdog, and what, okay, we've got the, uh, Extended Art, even the score, Extended Art Mythic, there it is, a uh, treasure token to go with this copy, well, we're not doing too bad with these, uh, foil mythics at the end, gotta say, or even non-foil mythics, we've got a lot of mythics, Prize fight! Another common card that I actually need! Ah, oh, good. Just punch something and create a treasure token. Capenna Express. Maestros Initiate. 
Spara's Adjudicators. Okay, Riveteer's Decoy and Corpse Appraiser. We've got the other island. Nice. And Skybridge Towers, Rocco, Glamorous Outlaw. What is this? This is a Fleetfoot Dancer. Okay. Uh huh. Here we are. We've got Storm of the Form, Storm of Forms. Sorry, Structural Assault, and Endless Detour, and Unleash the Inferno, and the cute little Devil token to go with the Wizard. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that's not a super rare token then. They just seem like a couple of interesting creatures to have on the same card. Now, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. We open this pack. Citizen token. Uh, rooftop nuisance. Good. Uh, attended socialite. Paragon of modernity. Nice. Uh, backup agent. We've got an unlucky witness. Oh dear. Vampire scrivener. And the planes. Oh, we're, we're doubling up now. These last two are going to be duplicates. And shattered seraph. And Broker's Charm, and oh boy, this uh, this makes it difficult not to build a deck around Mr. Orfeo the Boulder. Here we've got the uh, Gilded Foil version, uh, Shadow of Mortality, and Jolene the Plunder Queen, Rebel Rousing. We've got Zeatora's Proving Ground, another borderless, although non-foil, version of these lands. And Rigo, the Streetwise Mentor, we have another Gilded Rare. What does this one even do? Enters battlefield with a shield counter. Whenever you attack a player or planeswalker with one or more creatures with one power or less, draw a card. Huh, wild, just like a weenie deck commander. Okay, and the treasure token. So, one pack left. What are we gonna get, huh? Uh, I think we've seen a lot of great stuff in this box, actually. So, I mean, I can still cross my fingers and hope for even better stuff in this final pack, huh? Are we going to end with something absolutely astonishing? Celebrity Fencer, Majestic Metamorphosis, Riveteer's Initiate. We have a Hypnotic Grifter at Uncommon, and a Swooping Protector. We have another one of these mountains. We have a Racer's Ring, Obscura Charm, and uh, Crew Captain as our showcase cards. Jaxus the Troublemaker here at Rare, a Scepter of Celebration, and an Evolving Door, ha ha ha, funny. Lord Xander the Collector, well we do finish with at least one more Mythic Rare, a Showcase Mythic. And, uh, oh, this is, this is a really cruel card, isn't it? Enters the battlefield, target opponent discards half the cards in their hand. Whenever it attacks, defending player mills half their library. When it dies, target opponent sacrifices half their non-land permanence. Real nice. And Rabble Rousing is our final extended art foil card. Okay. And another treasure token. A new artwork. I haven't seen this one yet. To go with this dog. So, uh, there we go, we have opened the entire box. I will be right back with a bit of a recap. Okay, I'm back. So let's, uh, let's begin this recap just by going over all these gorgeous basic lands. Just incredible, as always, full art lands. Like, look at this. This is really something special. I love seeing these things. It's so much fun to put these in my decks and actually use them. Uh, however, in going through them, I realized... Uh, where is it? Yeah, this swamp is actually so off-center, you can even see the little guide mark in the top corner. Uh, that is not a chip in the paint. Uh, that is a small circular guide point that they put in between the cards on the sheet. Uh, oh, hey, this Plains has it too. Actually, now that I spread them all out like this, there's a couple of them that have that. Wild. So that's kind of nifty. Now, moving on. Let's look at these uh, non-foil extended art cards. So there's a lot of stuff here from the Commander set. Boxing Ring, happy to see that. Uh, yeah, we got some Crescendos and Scepters. And we did get one Mythic like this. Meeting of the Five, 
uh, among a bunch of other random extended art cards. Gala Greeter's Black Market Tycoon Corpse Explosion sounds like a fun time. And you know what, let's, let's keep going with the non-foils. So these are my non-foil showcase and or borderless cards. Like Lord Xander the Collector, we got a mythic here. And Zeatora the Incinerator, we got another mythic here. Titan of Industry, that is a third mythic right there. Rafine's Tower, Zeatora's Proving Grounds, I think these are probably rather sought after. Jetmir's Garden as well. Tenacious Underdog, Maestros, Diabolist, and Ascendancy. An Envoy, Ascendancy, and Endless Detour. And there we go. So now into the foils, though. And the foils are what this is all about, you know. Even the score, Mythic, Foil, Instant Draw Spell, and Fleetfoot Dancer, uh, Jaxus the Troublemaker, Shadow of Mortality. Yeah, lots of stuff here. I don't think any of these... Oh, actually, Rafine's Tower is pretty dope, but I don't know how many of these were actually huge pulls. Like, even that Mythic, I don't know if that's one of the big ones that people are after. It's not bad, uh, especially if people are drawing a lot of cards. It is instant speed, but yeah. Anyway, uh, more foils. These are the extended art foils with even the score at Mythic Rare. This... T uh, tenuous Truce. Did I call it Tenacious before? Tenuous Truce is a foil commander card. I didn't know they came like that. I thought they were only um, non-foil. But whatever, I guess they make everything else foil. Might as well. Uh, Professional Facebreaker is a card I actually plan to use. Uh, and that counts for a lot. So, yeah, nice to see that. Uh, we do also have this uh, Gala Greeters, I guess, from the front of the box. Uh, and then there are only two normal foil showcase cards, and you know what, I've got them here anyway. I might as well at least make mention of this absolutely ludicrous set booster that I got, like Urabrask and everything. Crazy, just crazy. But the big stuff, I think anyway, the stuff I was most excited to see are these gilded foils which, uh, they aren't all rares, in fact, some of them are commons, but, yeah. We've got Rafine here, which I would imagine is not a cheap card. Uh, Rigo, the Streetwise Mentor, we've got a Maestros Charm, I wouldn't mind collecting all the charms like this, actually. Uh, Mr. Orfeo the Boulder, yeah, good one. Masked Bandits, there we are. And this weird etched foil errant street artist. Again, these etched foils, they come out of left field. I did not know that there were any. But again, I suppose I should expect this kind of thing by now. Not a bad card, it's kind of interesting. I might even have a deck for this. But anyway, this does bring us to the end of this unboxing video. And I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I hope you join me again next time for whatever it is I might be unboxing next. Till then, ta-ta. Okay, what's next? Why, oh, oh, we've got a foil, okay. Oh, oh, and our foil. Ooh, I feel like that's a good one. Oh, hiya. And there it is, the pot of prosperity.